What's up everybody? Tuned Up Ty back at it again with another YouTube video. And today we are doing a modification actually to the car. Kind of hinted this in the past few videos, but we're gonna be doing a lip job. So <laughs> what we got here, don't mind the made in China, but we got our lip right here. We have the car on the stands right now. It's on some Rhino ramps because I didn't really feel like jacking the car up. And I know what you guys are thinking. We got some new rims. No, we don't, guys. These are actually the same rims that I had on before, but we actually got them powder coated. So Vinci Restyling down in Clifton, New Jersey, they had customized these for me. I asked for a gloss black on the outside face and they added a clear coat, which I didn't think they were going to, but they actually surprised me with that. And it came back pretty nice. Can't really see it right now because it's dusty from the brake dust and debris that's on the road. But I promise once it's in the daytime, all polished up, it looks amazing. They did the same thing for my brake calipers. I asked for a Ferrari red, gave me a clear coat on that as well. Uh, yeah, they did a phenomenal job on these. I cannot complain whatsoever. Same thing for my rears. I do have a gloss black and a Ferrari red as well. And I just I can't say it looks fucking amazing. And for all my BMW boys, we do have the M logos on the brake calipers. And it really ties the whole look together with the M logos on the M Sport wheels. It just really looks all nice and lovely. I can't complain whatsoever. That's enough for the wheels. I will throw some shots later on into the video or onto the channel. Not onto the channel, <laughs> on my Instagram. If you guys aren't following me on my Instagram, it's f 30 tie with two Ys. And yeah, you'll see more images on the car with these rims on. But that's enough of the video about those rims. We have a new carbon fiber lip. And um, I got this from a high quality seller on eBay. I know you guys are like, oh, don't do eBay, don't do eBay. But this is actually real carbon fiber, guys. Not that cheap shit, so. Get this unwrapped for you. There we go. If you guys can see, this is the carbon fiber lip that we're going to be throwing on the car. Just set this down. Hopefully, I don't scratch it. So you can get some better close ups. But yeah, this shit is dope, yo. This shit is really fucking dope. I will include a link down below in the description if you guys are interested in purchasing this. Uh, it was compared to other sellers, big name sellers, it was a really good price that I got this for. Uh, and don't be worried that the quality, quality isn't as justifiable to its price. This is really, really high quality. And you guys are wondering on the back side this is how the back looks like none of that abs shit the actual carbon fiber and uh yeah so what we're going to do is uh get this cleaned up first on the bumper because i don't want to put this on you know without having any dust and all that debris shit taking off i'm going to use goo gone uh, I know it's not really, you know, to clean it up, but I'm going to be using it in case there's any other goo or uh, shit that we need to take off. So I'm going to use a microfiber cloth, get some goo on it, and get some rubber. Pause. Now that we got the car up, here's a great time to see all the scratches that we got. I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah, this whole shit is scratched up. But enough with that. In the box, it does come with some instructions. We got some 3M tape, got some screws. Yeah, so 
These are the, are, these are the instructions in case you do not have these at the moment. All right, I'm gonna go read this real quick and then get this put together for you guys. All right, y'all, yeah, so what we did was we added a screw and washer to it. As you can see here, two nuts. I, I didn't use the ones that it came with the kit because they didn't really fit, because you know, most most aftermarket shits don't really fit. <laughs> so you gotta make it fit yourself. But I had to, I used basically a washer and set that I used from my license plate bracket. This is how it looks pretty much. With the whole thing assembled. And what we have to do now is get our 3M tape onto the the inner things. All right, so what we're going to do right here is add this 3M tape. I'm a little, I am a little concerned because this is a uh, how you say it, pretty skinny. But I'm gonna make it work. So you want to use a, a long strip that can hold the whole thing together. All right, so that's pretty good for me. So I'm gonna just use my scissor and cut that piece off. I'm just gonna use the taped up side facing the car and then this to stick on just for now because I don't wanna un, un, how you say it, remove that red tape just yet. All right, and you want to put multiple layers on this. Don't just take faith in just one strip because this is going to be on your car for a very long time or however, however you plan to hold it. So, and it is going to be, trust me, it is going to be facing a lot of fucking streets <laughs> that you will scrape up into. So. Don't go don't go uh, gentle on this shit, you know. All right. I think that's enough for that side. I do want to add some onto the inner, at least three. So, and you want to measure it. Same thing that we did over here, you're gonna be doing on the other side, right there, but I won't have you guys watch that, I'll fast forward. We got all the tape done on both sides. I did a little two strip on the top part and then a three strip on the um, bottom part. And then same thing on the other side. So now what we have to do is, I basically, I wanna test this, the fit first before I slap this shit on. And then we get to screwing on. All right, guys, so now we got all the taping done on each of the things. And now we're gonna apply this to the car very gently and slowly. I'm gonna do it from the top and then snug it down to the bottom. Let's see if that works. Get you in for a closer look. does look really clean. It does look really, really fucking clean. All right, guys. So let's get back to it. That will wrap up today's video. Here it is, the final product. As you can see, it looks pretty fucking clean really fucking clean close up and if you guys want to see the screws that we put underneath we place one right here and then one here get to secure up 
one in the middle. Although I do not like one that's all silver above the, the actual lip, I'm gonna try and paint that black or use a Sharpie on it. And the same thing on this side. But yeah, guys, that wraps up today's video. Oh, it looks so, you guys don't understand how nice this looks, man. This looks so fucking mean, bro. So fucking mean. But I'm gonna get some shots, some better shots, because this is just a video. I do want to upload some better shots with this new lip on to see the before and after. And yeah, but until then, this is Tuned Up Ty, back at it again with another YouTube video on our carbon fiber lip installation. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I will provide everything that I used in the description below. That will be from my ramps, jack, rear ramps, screws, and my creeper. All that would be included. And if you guys have any questions, just please let me know down in the description. Uh, like again, I'm still learning about everything, so I may not have the best knowledge. But if I have anything that I can help you with this build or this installation on your car, I'll gladly assist you in the uh, comments below. But until then, tune up tie back at it with another video. Peace.